Hello and welcome to Gemini Soul Tarot. This reading will be for the month of March. This will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Or wherever you feel you have a lot of Virgo in your chart and it may resonate with you. You do not have to be a Virgo for this to resonate with you. It could be someone you're dealing with or energies around you. So Virgo, let's get into your reading today. Let's see what energies may be surrounding you for the month of March. I ask if anything resonates with you, that you give me a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Comments are always welcome, but positive, high vibe comments only. Spirit guys, show me what Virgo may be dealing with. Virgo, going into the month of March, we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Virgo, I am feeling there is something to either do with close-knit family or friends or Virgo just trying to figure out or work on or have not been that happy at this time when it comes to family, friends, maybe with commitment. This could just be your happiness within yourself at this time. Uh, but the Ten of Cups is in reverse. When I was meditating on Virgo's energy before I started the reading, I was feeling that Virgo was dealing with, uh, could be a water sign, um, could be a, another Virgo like yourself, and a fire sign. And somewhere there is some confusion around family, commitment, friends, maybe understanding, moving on, knowing what the other person wants or what it is that you want, Virgo. Let's just keep going. Let's see what else the Spirit Guides got. I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of the cards out. You have the Four of Cups. You have the Three of, Soul, uh, three of Wands in Reverse. And you have the Seven of Pentacles right in the middle of the situation. So we are going to clarify, but let's talk about the situation at hand. Under the bottom, you have a Tower card, Virgo. Okay, so the Tower card just means that the universe may be coming in and taking over, or you've been enlightened about something, you're removing people, places, and things from around you, Virgo, that no longer serve you. Virgo or the universe can be coming in to clear this energy for you. Uh, I feel you've been discontent for a while. Um, I think you have planted something and you've waited for it to grow and you just have not been very happy with the turnout because of the Ten of Cups that's in reverse. So whether that was you planning a family, uh, a relationship or you were in a relationship, a past relationship, something was definitely um, making you feel uncontent with yourself. Now, this could also be um, if the universe is coming in and bringing this power and this clarity, there could be you feeling like uh, there's a cup being offered to you or you've been waiting on this cup to um to come in to you virgo you may even feel that the universe is not listening to you at this time or you've been waiting for so long or just the cups that's been offered you're not very sure you know or the ones that's already down below you have dealt with and realized there was no energies in there that matches yours that made you complete and happy within yourself and perhaps there's another a cup being offered and you feel that that cup is just like the other cups and it could have been because of the hurt and the pain definitely could have been um virgo if you just got out of a relationship a long-term relationship family a divorce um or maybe just several relationships that just did not fulfill you and make you happy i am seeing with the three of wands in reverse virgo you are no longer waiting so this means 
You know, upright, the three of wands in the upright is you waiting for your ships to come in. So one or two ways I see this. One, you feel like your ships are not coming in. You're very discontent. Or you feel that you're tired. You're tired of waiting and you would like to move forward and start something start trying to build something on your own and that would be leaving all of the drama behind again the tower right that would mean breaking away from anything that doesn't make you happy or serve you whether it's family friends or a relationship or commitment that's coming in virgo i'm also feeling right now that there is probably a cup being offered to you and you're so tired at this point of just not being fulfilled when it comes to relationships and people understanding who you are, that you're just too tired to even look up and want to accept this cup. And the reason you don't is because, you know, when you're in that mode of releasing the things that no longer serve you, you had the five of pentacles. So at some point in time, you felt left out in the cold. Or you are now leaving circumstances people places or things out in the cold and that's a tower moment for the people around you there could be truly be a family it could be a relationship it could be one you had a long time it could be one that has come into your life now at this time and you just like you know what i'm still not feeling fulfilled with this relationship we're not communicating very well they're not contacting me they, i don't know what it is they want or they're not really trying to see what it is that I want, or maybe you just feel that um, at this time you just want to come out of the cold and you just want everything that no longer serves you to just be done. You could have been dealing with an emperor, a husband, father figure, someone that's very dominant. Um, you could have went through some changes like that. Uh, you had a seven of swords underneath that. So this person could have been very deceptive towards you. You could have found out some things. Um, but I'm feeling that you may have wanted this person to come forth to you and give you the truth and tell you about these swords or their thoughts or the things that they were doing. And... That is probably why you had the three of wands. You were waiting for some communication to come in, and it did not come in. So you are no longer waiting for communication from someone that you wanted to come in, either give you the truth or come in and want to partner with you. So with that comes the tower to remove yourself from being left out in the cold or leaving people out in the cold. And the reason you're doing that, Virgo, is because you're, you're going to be the fool. You're taking the leap of faith. You're going to move forward and pick yourself up. And this is your future energy. So you're picking yourself up. You have the fire. Or you have a fire sign here, which um, is the king of wands. So there could be a king of wands coming in, in, coming towards you, or this could just be you standing in your power. You know, even though you're a Virgo, uh, you know, and you're earth, you're taking your earth and your fire and you're putting it together, knowing what it is you want to move forward. And you're taking a leap of faith in it. And you're going to be successful with that because you are being fired up. The universe has the ace of wands underneath. What I want to clarify here, let's clarify some things here right Virgo let's clarify I want to know what the seven of swords are here why is the seven of swords here the seven of swords is here because there was either a water sign or someone offering a cup to you and you were not seeing it or you felt that that offer that they were giving you was deceptive. So it doesn't have to be a water sign. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But it definitely could be someone that was offering you a cup. And you found out that that cup that they were offering, it was being very deceptive. Now, not necessarily cheating, stealing, or things like that. Maybe they wouldn't open up to you. Maybe you didn't understand what they were saying, what they were doing, where they wanted the relationship to go, or if they truly actually wanted to have this relationship with you, Virgo. Um, let's clarify. I want to clarify this tower and this five of pentacles. 
Virgo, you under the bottom. So, Virgo, this you coming in your power. This is your reading. That doesn't mean you are seeing the light. So, this has just took a whole nother turn. This is Virgo going within, knowing the truth. And now you are also saying, Virgo, you know what? I don't even need you to come and tell me the truth. Perhaps I've been waiting on you for this cup and this offer. But you went in, you did some healing and some reflecting about the situation within yourself. And you didn't use um, the information of wanting to know the information from them. Let me get this right, spirits. Okay. You use the information within yourself to the truth. So you are no longer waiting for the truth because you already knew the truth. You went in, you reflected, you healed, and you started to see things for exactly what they were. So whatever you were trying to bring together, whatever you was ending, whatever you have ended, you did it because you went in as your Virgo mode and you reflected. So in that made you realize, this four of swords made you realize you had to leave some people out in the cold, which caused a tower moment. This is Virgo loving Virgo. Virgo decided that Virgo needed to love Virgo. And they, Virgo, you knew some people would get hurt if it was a long time, a long term family, if it was a commitment, kids, husband, wife, if this was the situation, you knew people would get left out in the cold, people would be hurt about it and they wouldn't understand it. But at the same token, you had to find yourself what it is that's making you happy. And I see you, you know, moving forward. Why is the food card here for Virgo? Yes, the food card is here because of the Ten of Swords. Someone hurt you. Some things, some people, some situations really hurt you, Virgo. I'm feeling this is a Virgo that just could not take it anymore. Like, they were not happy in no way at all. They were not content. They wanted to move on. People did not, you, whoever you were dealing with did not see eye to eye. And it was pretty deceptive around you. I feel there was lies and still truth that you were waiting on, hoping someone would come forth and tell you the truth. Even though you knew deep down inside something wasn't right, you still just moved forward and trusted and believed that this information would come in. But with this Ten of Swords, that is saying that is the end of that Virgo. Virgo has chosen to no longer deal with this deceptive behavior. She, to heal from the Three of Swords, to get away from the Seven of Swords. You know, you have chose to get away from the Seven of Swords, all the lies and the deception. And if someone felt they were standing in their power and they had you, Virgo, exactly where you want, where they wanted you, this is no longer happening for you, for them, okay? Because they are seeing a new Virgo who is taking a leap of faith. And with that cup and knowing that that offer, it was tainted, it is no longer your wish fulfillment, and you are manifesting something else after going within and seeing what is the seven of pentacles here for Virgo? What is the seven of pentacles here for Virgo spirit? The seven of pentacles goes to an eight of pentacles. That's how you do it. That's how you move forward, Virgo. That means you start working on you. You working on your pentacles, your home, your luxury. You know, you want the luxury things. And you realizing at the end of the day, you already abundant. You was abundant at Seven of Pentacles, but you wanted someone to share that with, but you wanted someone to be true and on your level with the same energy, right? Equal give and take. They didn't. Have, you didn't want them to be perfect. You just wanted them to show up in the relationship, whether it was family or friends, and you were showing up the most, and they were not giving back to you, Virgo. So the choice you made, it was the right choice for you, and that is because you are now loving you. Understand that maybe if you had some codependent and I don't feel codependent as far as financial because you got the pinnacles it was codependent on someone seeing you for who you are or knowing how valuable you are well Virgo you have just did that by taking <laughs> jumping right with the ten of swords and that um and the king of wands you right in the middle as the fool you are taking that that energy on yourself and moving forward yes moving forward you have ooh, you have 
water energy here could definitely be that but you got the chariot this is the chariot and the fool that is somebody just just completely like bulldozing their way straight through to find their happiness at all costs and virgo you're saying if it takes me just finding that happiness within myself, fine. I'm more abundant by myself because I don't have to share my pinnacles with nobody. I don't have to share my love with anyone. I can just look out for me, take time for me, spend time with myself. And you will see after that, you will be start to uh, prosper and be able to continue to build. And you're not stopping, Virgo, because you went from the seventh of pentacles to the eight of pentacles that means you're putting the work in you didn't went in you didn't heal and i'm not saying you completely heal because things looks like with the tower are still getting pushed around away from you know by the universe but you're also helping the universe by taking this action to move forward the universe can only do so much right you can manifest it and ask the universe to heal you or help you to see things or move forward or get, make you abundant. But there are still some things that you have to do, whether it's mentally, physically, or, you know, just in your heart or mindset of what it is you want to do. Virgo, this is a really beautiful reading. You are definitely moving forward for the month of March. You have <clears throat> the page of cups come out. This means Virgo is not accepting and it's in reverse. Virgo is not accepting the Page of Cups. Virgo wants them a, a real impress or imper. Your cards are just falling on the floor. And look, and this, this here, Virgo, this I don't see this as you. I see someone, this is the way they're feeling now. They're looking back at the past. They're hurting. They're missing you, Virgo, because... You have decided to focus on you and walk away from this commitment, this relationship, friendship, or family, and focus on you. And they knew your worth, but they did not tell you uh, what they wanted in a relationship. They weren't communicating, or they was very deceptive. But they are hurting for what they did to you, Virgo, that you do not have to worry about. Because now you have the wheel under the bottom. That means now your cycle begins, right? This is your season, Virgo. March is going to be your season. There will be changes in your life if you continue to move forward in faith and take that leap of faith and move forward and do not go back. Don't step the pay. And, and this is showing me right here because this fell out right uh, upside down. This page of cups, you will not be accepting it so you must you know they must at first you thought they were you know at least uh um you thought they was lisa knight of cups but honestly they couldn't even match you they were a page of cups right they they didn't have what it takes to be with you virgo and they thought they could show up this way or they knew that you seen them in a different light because you had belief and feelings and hearts and just just everything caring about people and that's what virgos do they put they all in there so even though they was a page you didn't see them that way at first you was just like okay this is the night you know this is a knight of cup making an offer but now that you see the deception the seven of swords and that they were nothing but a page and they couldn't possibly come close to you and all of matching your energy you are moving on from that and they are hurting from that don't think that they're getting away from it they may not be expressing that to you virgo but that is the truth you got the ace of swords that's the truth they are missing you because you have seen the truth and you don't want nothing but the truth the truth for yourself and the truth for the any situation that's around you, whether it be a marriage, long-term relationship, a new one coming in, a old one coming back from the path, you are standing there with the Ace of Swords as if I see the truth, the clarity, and the truth and the clarity is that I don't need anyone to validate me. I am truly abundant by myself. I don't need you, but I would like to share it, right? And that's what I see. I see you working really hard. Yes, look at this, Virgo. You have the world card. That's a new cycle. The old one in. This is the new Virgo. This is the new. So, Virgo, did you cut your hair? You didn't dye your hair? Did you change your clothes? What? You went shopping? Did you buy a car? 
Go, if you ain't did these things, did you get your nails did, your, your feet did, did you go go spend some time nourishing yourself because that old cycle of giving everything you have to someone else first before yourself is over for the month of March. And you should be feeling that energy. I feel like you got energy coming in that's going to shock them. That is why they're hurting. And if you already, you know, we all in different cycles. Right. So if you're already in that mood, mode and you've been moving forward and taking care of yourself and feeling that in light energy within yourself and feeling good about yourself, then you are already there. If you are still at the point where this tower is just coming down around you, have no fear because you will be moving in the month of March towards that. You will be dropping all those wands. That's the ten of wands. You will not be burdened with other people's burdens. These ten of wands were not yours. And if they were yours, Virgo, you was carrying them by choice, not by force. You was carrying them by choice. And it was time for you to put them down. And the universe needs you to put them down, whether they was other people's burdens, so that you can focus on yourself. And you are definitely doing that. And yes, people are going to want to come in. They're going to see you in your light. They're going to want to collaborate with you. And that choice will be up to you. But I would say, Virgo, being in your Virgo mode would definitely be the best thing to do in March. Continue to heal and go within, but continue to move forward. Come out of the fact maybe you've been away from everybody and confining yourself and just being to yourself, Virgo. Because look at here. You got a King of Pentacles under the bottom. This King of Pentacles may be coming in for you, or this could be a Virgo just, uh, you know, it could be in your masculine or feminine. It doesn't matter. Sitting in your power, knowing who you are, and making these changes and choices to change your life around. And the reason why you're doing that, Virgo, is because you are healing. This is a wish fulfillment. The universe is going to give you a wish fulfillment. If you continue to keep healing and moving forward and do not move backwards, do not accept them page of cups. Don't accept the knight of cups. See it for what it is. See the energies around you for what they are, the people around you, the relationship coming in or going out, that person that's not communicating to you that keeps you confused, the one that made you feel less than, the one that you continue to try to help and hold on to the relationship and you just put yourself in more and more of a five of pentacles being left out in a cold situation, that's over with because you are healing and you are getting a wish fulfillment, Virgo, for the month of March. Okay, let me get one more card here for you. Then I'm going to get an angel wisdom card. Yes, Virgo, what I said, you are moving forward. You have the six of swords here. The six of swords. Now, you may, you got somebody in this boat with you. Maybe you got a child or maybe a really close friend or someone that's helping you through this or moving. Or it could just be your spirit guys in this boat with you. Helping you to get through this and move through this. And there could be synchronicities or numbers, two, two, twos, uh, three, three, threes, four, four, fours. Those are to let you know you're going on the right path, that you're moving in the direction you need to be moving in. Virgo is leaving it all behind. Virgo says they want something better for themselves and they need to first find their own happiness within themselves and build up their stability before they can reach out to anyone else and continue to help them in them deceptive behaviors. All right, what? let's get a little angel wisdom card for Virgo. This is this is an angel wisdom tarot card for Virgo spirit. What advice? Okay, we got two here. We got two Virgo. The first one says, leaving all you can. Lord, sorry, learning all you can about a subject or a career. Going back to school, taking, uh taking seminars or finding a a mentor i just talked about someone in that boat with you virgo attention to details skill work that you love so you finna open up right virgo you finna open up you finna work on yourself if you was in school if you were 
uh, whatever it is, maybe you used to work out a lot and you, you took that away from yourself because you were so focused on someone else. Maybe you liked a horseback ride and you stopped doing that. Maybe you were skating, maybe just riding a bike or getting out in nature more. There was just something that you were enjoying doing that you have not did Virgo in a while and you need to get out and do it. If it's something you feel you've been wanting to do, some new skill or, or something like that that was in the past, maybe in interior decorator. I don't know. Maybe you was wanted to DJ or maybe you wanted to create things or things like that. Find that spot where you left it and continue and bring it back in and enlighten your heart, your mind, and your soul, Virgo, because the spirit guy has got your back. And as long as you moving forward in that chariot and just be the, just take a leap of faith and believe that it's happening. And the reason you do that, see, when you pick your energies up, Virgo, and you know what it is that you want, that is when the the universe say, okay, Virgo's ready. Now let's bring Virgo in with some energies around them. Now that the towers come in and removed all the toxic behavior around you, now something will come towards you that will match your level in your energy. This one is the lovers. It say, embrace true love and deep. It imit Okay, y'all, hold on a minute. Imitate friendships, make choices from the heart, vibrate health, or recovery from an illness. Okay, I don't know how, y'all, I don't have my glasses on, but y'all hear me. Let me do it again. Embrace true love and deep. Intimate friendships, make choices from the heart, vibrant health or recovery from an illness that's that's it now the lovers i just thought right away like you know virgo got love coming in but this virgo love within itself that's virgo love that if those are new friends gonna come into you that the universe is going to bring into you so you'll be able to embrace true love and deep uh intimate friendships and make choices from your heart so when you are able to open that all up, but you're going to open it up with no negativity, you're going to open it up with the healing that has happened for you. You're going to open it up with the knowledge and the lessons that you've taken with you that you've learned from the past, but helping you move towards your future, Virgo. And I wish you the best on this journey. Let me see what else we have here, Virgo. So you know, guys, at the end of every reading, I take the cards and see, you know, if you're dealing with a different sign, what the what's possible, right? If you are dealing with a water sign, Virgo, you get these cards here. I'm gonna use. I can't even remember what the name of these cards. Are. I'm so into it right now, Virgo. Let's see, Virgo. If you're dealing with a water sign, it too came out. Um, this water sign that you was dealing with, we just talked about, they feel left out in the cold and they feel stuck. You have left them out in the cold and they feel stuck. Whoever that water sign is, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You're dealing with an earth sign. The Virgo is dealing with an earth sign like they sell. Uh, it is the Ace of Swords, seeing the truth in the situation. Very good, Virgo. And I think that's the truth within you. You the earth sign. That's you. And if you're dealing with an earth sign, you're seeing the truth within that. If you are dealing with an air sign, Virgo, <clears throat> it is the world. The air sign could be dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius. Um, you, what am I getting? Well, anyway, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra for the Earth sign, but I'm getting the world. So there can be an air sign around you with the world that's still like the end of a cycle. So there could be the ending of a cycle with uh, a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra, or you could be starting a new cycle. Could be coming that way. Just depends on your direction uh, and where you are on your journey, Virgo. If you're dealing with a fire sign, Virgo, if you're dealing with a fire sign, Virgo, it is the king of swords. 
If you're dealing with a fire sign, it's the King of Swords. So, you know, here we go with the King of Swords. And King of Swords is a person that looks at things logically. That could be you and your fire too, also, Virgo. That could just be you standing in your power, looking at things logically and no longer looking at, you know, the hurt and the pain of the heart. Now you're thinking with your mind, your heart, and your soul. So you're just looking at the whole situation logically, and that's what made you take that leap of faith that you wanted to move on and have something more. And, yes, you have uh, the queen of uh, wands under the bottom. Just because it's the queen of wands does not mean it's a female, but I see you as standing in your power and knowing what it is that you want and that Virgo is going after of it and will get it at all costs. And do not give up for the month of March and never give up, Virgo. But for the month of March, I see you doing some healing, some reflecting. I see some things being removed from your uh, past. I see some things coming in for your future. And I see you being strong and knowing who you are, what you will accept, what you will not accept. And you ain't going to have no problem communicating that with them. And that may mean you just doing you, Virgo. So uh, if this re reading resonated with you guys, I ask that you give me a thumbs up. I tell you when you want to manifest something, a reading sounds like it's for you or you want to be in that direction, you claim it. You thumbs up, you claim it. You put it out in the universe. And I will see you guys very soon, Virgo. Bye.